there. All right. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here. Welcome to Hashtag Connecting Businesses. Today, this is a different kind of session because normally we go live, but because our schedule's tomorrow, we're not gonna be able to do it live tomorrow. So we're pre-recording this. And Chris is all over the way over there in California. And he has pretty cool advice to give to you. So this is going to be about a 10 minute video. Very, very, very short. And well, Chris, please introduce yourself. What's up, man? Appreciate it. Uh, my name is Chris Kleiss, and I run a media company called Kleiss Media Group. Uh, we're a, a full service media company. We primarily focus in creating video content to help businesses and communities. That's pretty cool. That's really, really cool stuff because you actually uh, teach stuff too, right? Or kids yeah, I do that. Yeah, I do a lot of education. We, we work with a lot of youth, but I also work with adults and uh, train people that work like in civic entities like government agencies and school districts and stuff like that too. Very, very cool. So you have a long time of experience working with video and I wanted to ask you, what are the challenges that clients or you see clients going through when they want to do all this stuff on their own? Right, man. Uh, Definitely a, a good uh, point. You know, what, what challenges do clients face? And uh, number one, the biggest challenge I see uh, clients or my clients or just businesses that I go and uh, speak with is they're trying to do a lot on their own. You know, they might not necessarily have the expertise uh, of creating content uh, with, you know, video content or marketing content, whether that is for, um, you know, specific client needs or internally in their business. And what I see is they're usually trying to do it on their own. <laughs> and, and they face like, what kind of problems or challenges they face instead of like, well, one of the things like they lose the time instead of doing what they're the best at, they lose the time doing something that they're really not good at. But the other thing that they do is probably get the secretary or someone that has already a role in there and put them to do the social media, the videos, the branding. What kind of challenges do you think they go through? Or you know already that they go through some challenges, like maybe the implementation of the strategy or something like that. What, what do you think, like what do they go through? Yeah, man, that's very, very common uh, point for sure. Uh, you know, one of the most common things I see is that, well, first off, let me, let me say, if you're running a business, right? and your business is successful by any means, you know as a business owner that you have to have a good team. Uh, if you try to do all aspects of your business by yourself, it's not gonna end up too well. You know, you really, you have to have a solid team. And um, like you said, you, you need to really know your role and people need to have well-defined roles and expectations in their role. And you mentioned it, uh, a big, a big thing that I see, it's very common. Uh, you know, I, I'll, uh, a client will call me or a prospective client will call me. I'll go in and talk to them and uh, they will explain to me, you know, what their needs are. Maybe they're struggling somewhere in their business and they want some help, right? So that's my job is to come in and provide some resources. Right. So we start talking, yeah, we start talking about prescribing like, uh, you know, um, some type of video asset to create or um, something to help them to market better to their clients. And a lot of times what I see is, is what they're doing currently isn't really working. And what that is, is like, they'll really have their admin, their front desk person uh, that's supposed to be there, you know, as, as the, the greeter when people enter their business or in charge of like their, their phones or maybe their, uh, doing you know all their administrative tasks within the office and they'll give this person the role of creating their marketing content they'll have them going to events and using their phone to create you know videos and photo posts they'll use those for their social media um, they'll even put them on their website and ultimately uh, it's a bad idea uh, one you're giving this person who is the administrative assistant or some other role within the office um, the you know you're tasking them to do something that they might not be qualified to do and they might not uh, necessarily understand uh, what all it encompasses to create media and video assets uh, you, you talked about strategy right and so for yes. me 
strategy and psychology. I actually have two master's degrees in psychology. So I utilize this a lot in my business. And right. it, it's, it's huge, man. Uh, the psychology, you know, of, of, of creating content is very, very important. Yeah, but um, so let's say that they have the, the secretary, right? And, or the administrator and they start running the social media. Do you think that administrator has the knowledge, the, you know, psychology, marketing, the branding, like not going away from the branding that they, and then message that they want to actually tell and, you know, targeting the right ideal client for them. Do you think the secretary or the administrator knows how to do all of that stuff that, well, we, that we work with video, we put all this thinking and like, okay, this video is going to help you like this. But after this video, we have to do this one. And because this one is going to create this other stuff for them and it's going to explain and educate. And we have all these things yeah. and the strategies behind. Do you think the administrator, the secretary, or anyone that has another role in the company would be able to do all of this kind of stuff? 99% uh, of the time, definitely not. You know, I think they select these people because they might be tech savvy. You know, say they have a great personal Instagram account or something. They and have 3,000 like, followers on their personal yeah. account. Yeah, they feel like, oh, your Instagram account looks great. Your post You're an great. influencer you, already. <laughs> you're right. You should do our business marketing. And then, oh. you know, then it's just downhill from there. You know, you have, uh, I'm, I, if, let me bring a personal, I mean, a, a real world example right now. I'm working yeah. with a client right now. Uh, it's actually a school district. And the person I'm working with is their communications officer. So the communications officer has, uh, you know, asked me to provide services for them to help him with his own role in creating content, video content specifically, to release to, their, to all the, you know, parents and teachers and staff within the district. You know, this person is not only the media and communications officer, He also is the leadership development coach for all the teachers in the district that want to become administrators. So he's already got two roles right there. And let me tell you, he's really intelligent. Um, he's a former superintendent uh, of an other school districts and he's very capable. But the thing is, he doesn't have the time or expertise to create what he wants to create. He just, he doesn't have the, the knowledge like the actual practical knowledge of doing the work um oh. it's not it's not just creating a video right um one of one of my colleagues you know he he gives some great analogies about video and the power of video and let me tell you a video by itself is worthless right, right. It, it really is you know a video with no implement implementation strategy you know with no end in sight um uh, with no really marketable goals like having a, a purpose you know having a purpose for that video to do something to create something to resolve sure. something right and that's part of our process you know and it's important for uh, businesses and communities to understand that in 2020 i guess it's 2020 now this is actually <laughs> um you know video is just huge man like everybody is 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 creating content they're watching con content we're constantly being fed you know video content you know, everyone is looking at the phone everyone's attention is on the phone that's the reason it's so important it's because the attention is there and the best way to grab the attention is with video it's not like oh it's just a passion thing or it's like a new thing no 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 the attention of all the people is right here right. you know so when the attention goes somewhere else well it's going to change but right now in 2020 This is the way that it's working. Right. Well, I just thought of something right now. Let me add this. You know, yeah. essentially, when we're creating video content, video assets that we prescribe for businesses, like a doctor would prescribe for a patient, you know, right. the doctor doesn't just walk into the office, you know, where you're sitting with the patient, right, and just say, hey, here's all your medicine. Go ahead and get out. Like, they actually talk to the patient. They listen to the patient. They assess the patient. And then they start to make prescriptions, right? And so when you're, as a business, uh, if you're asking, you know, one of your team members to create your prescription, right? Because video solves problems. We create video content to solve problems, essentially. Um, you know, right. if you're asking your administrative assistant to solve your 
your problems by creating video content or other marketing content, you're actually something happened to your camera, but then you were talking something then, pretty cool, <laughs> you know, then you started with, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're not going to have all of that knowledge. They're not going to be able to implement it right. And it might be hurting your brand. You know, it's not going to be growing your brand, which is very important. It might give in a mislead message or something like that because it's not being uh, directed. It's not being uh, managed. It's not being implemented right. It's not having the right structure and um, implementation strategy. And what, what would be the benefits? We're probably already over the 10 minutes, but it doesn't matter because it's very, very good information. Sure. Uh, so sorry, guys. I said it's going to be about 10 minutes. <laughs> And go longer hopefully not that much because we want to do this short and with very good valuable information so um, what would be the benefits for a business to hire a professional uh, media uh, production company or a video production company that really knows how to implement and solve different problems with different strategies what would be the benefits for someone to actually invest in that well you just said it right there strategy you know, we're coming in with a strategy. We're creating a professionally um, guided uh, uh, video or marketing content to solve a problem, to better reach your clients, to help you provide a better service, you know, to save you time. You know, we're not creating uh, uh, something that's going to cause you more problems or take you more time to create, right? Right. So, yeah. Right. And, um, well, when you're implementing a strategy, sometimes it happens that it's like, you have to tweak it you have to edit or ch make changes to the strategy depending on how the results are being you're perfecting that strategy all the time which probably the secretary or the administrator can't even do that or not even know that something like that exists right right um and well building the brand and targeting the right client i think is one of the things that is very very powerful when you work with someone that works professionally with video specifically for businesses. Right. You know, we're able to prescribe, you know, uh, um, an asset, a video asset or some type of video content or marketing content, you know, whether it's animation or graphics or whatever, you know, for the marketing, we we're prescribing something specific to solve a problem. Uh, we're able to assess its effectiveness by looking at the information, right? The analytics, the response from clients, and then we're able to adjust, from there you know we're not just putting a blanket um prescription out and just letting it roll no we're making an assessment <laughs> just if give you a placebo to... right like giving right, a placebo right. like no <laughs> yeah no we're making adjustments in the moment to to really you know get to that end result that we're looking to get to and and it's just really effective when you hire a professional for this <laughs> and you don't rely on someone else within your company to try and create you know this and accomplish these tasks yeah so basically stop giving your employees that have another role this kind of stuff because they're not prepared for it to do it right and they're only going to get burned out and they're gonna be unhappy with what they're doing because they're not actually achieving it so yeah. that's one so stop doing that use someone that is professional you can um chris is going to be tagged or is tagged in this uh, post you can ask him questions you can ask me questions we'll be really really happy to help you and see you get better with your marketing and with your business uh, anything else you want to add chris i think we have said pretty pretty cool stuff but anything you want to add yeah man i'm just looking forward to releasing this information too on my social media and uh, my linkedin i don't utilize linkedin uh, because i'm so busy working with my clients <laughs> Um, they're observing, but I, I'm really, uh, I'm happy to put this on my LinkedIn and see what kind of response I get from business owners that I'm connected with. Uh, because I know a lot of people have questions, uh, and sometimes they're too busy to ask, or maybe they might be hesitant to, be, hesitant to ask. And, uh, this, hopefully this opens the door for them to just, uh, you know, let it flow, ask questions and, uh, get, get moving towards some positive problem solving and, uh, creating some content that will really, uh, make an impact in your business. Awesome. All right. So let's cut it right here. Thank you everyone for watching this episode with Chris Kleiss Media. 
and me, Fabian Garza, with hashtag connecting businesses. If you have a business that needs something like this, you can ask us questions. Like he said, hopefully we open that door that you can come here and ask questions and be helpful for you. So till next time then. <laughs>